So when the mail runs and the magazine gets there, it's time out. We're not going to do anything else until we see what's in the magazine. I like it because it is uh, practical. It, uh, it talks about ranching families that uh, and it gives a lot of practical application. I like the practical articles about the production agriculture because that's what we do. It is good because it's more grassroots stories as well. I your target audience appears to be us for a chain. Well, it's one of the best magazines I get, and I read it when I get it. Cause I, there's just a whole lot of, for a livestock guy like myself. There's a whole lot of good stuff in there. Well, what I like about it, I like it because it's real story about real ranch life. There's not, I mean, it's something you can believe. My name is Joe Stout. We're in the Flint Hills of Kansas, East Central Kansas. Now, first of all, it's interesting. It's got a lot of attractive stuff, but it's got a practical slant to it that I enjoy. My name's David Cross. I'm from Lewis, Kansas. I'm a cow-calf stalker operator. I love the Working Ranch magazine. I like all your articles, but I especially like this last issue that featured the Judd Ranch and all your nice articles on the NCBA. I'm Jesse Vanderpool. I work at Storbeck and Guy Cattle Company in the eastern part of South Dakota. It's my family's ranch. And we all get the Working Ranch, and we love it because it is very applicable and true to what actually does happen on the ranch. And it's very encouraging to young people people too that go back into production and you don't always see that in the magazine. So I really like it. Very good information. We're, we're David Loretta Hamilton, Bedford, Nebraska is where our ranch is. And uh, we know one of your uh, freelance writers, Troy Smith, and uh, just really enjoy the magazine. Lots of color, quality, quality uh, articles on, on uh, good ranch folks. Les McGee, we live in Greeley, Kansas. What we like about the magazine is it's authentic, it's down to earth. Uh, things that we all know about, we enjoy it. I like it because it keeps him occupied. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd ever live to see that I would mend a magazine, but it's his she magazine. He That's great. And every, no, I, a new but, one but comes like in, I mean, he goes through it just page by page. <laughs> it's one of the few magazines that when it comes, I read it right away. West Bend Farms in West Tennessee, and it's one of the best all-around magazines, go very good content. Gail George, Uniontown, Kansas, southeast corner. I just like the one thing, uh, the daily write-up that someone puts in every month. That, that is really interesting to keep up with you know, how, people, how other people operate. I'm Shorty Jones. I live in uh, western South Dakota. The Working Ranch Magazine, one of the really good ones that tells it like it is. I'm Brandon Hickey. I, we have a ranch in western Oklahoma and just absolutely love the, the photography is outstanding. The, uh, the, the stories are so real and down to earth and there's so much helpful stuff in the magazine. Just really enjoy just, just getting to know other people similar to, uh, to our situations in other parts of the United States. Vivian Alford in Louisville, Arkansas and I like the real ranch life stories. We run about 4,000 head of stalker cattle. My name is Brooke Boyce. I'm from Williams, California and what I like about working ranch is that it's full of useful, valid information. Oklahoma. My name is Steve Enos and I just like the articles in it real well. Larry Schweitzer, I'm from eastern Montana, over by Ritchie. The uh, thing that I like about it is it's articles about genuine ranchers. Pictures are exceptional too, but the, all the articles just strike right true to home. Uh, John Perry, my ranch is in uh, northern Utah, just south of the Idaho border. It's realistic. There's nothing artificial about the magazine. It's very down to earth and, and has good application. I'm Roger Toole from uh, Yuma, Colorado. Really our address is actually, but Yuma in the northeast corner of Colorado. Uh, we're feedlot operators, uh, buy calves in the fall coming off the cow and then spring, our fall born calves, we buy them in the spring to run on grass and everything's a feedlot. And yeah, we've got this magazine ever since it first came out and uh, just nice articles. A lot of times I know the people that the article's about because uh, I have been there and done, done that a few times and it is really a nice magazine. Thank you. My name is Marty Sis. I have a feed yard at McCook and Ranch also. 300 head of cows. I love reading the magazine. It's very informative on everything I can relate to. I can, from cover to cover, it gets read. My son also has a copy and, and 
and uh, does the same. How old is he? He's 23 years old. Is that right? He's and it's when the Working Ranch magazine comes in the mail, he's excited to get home to get his mail. So. Lori Likely from Southern Idaho. Uh, we uh, really appreciate Working Ranch magazine. We think it's the true cowman's magazine. We appreciate the articles. I get two copies and give one to my hired man. So we're true believers. So keep up the good work. Working Ranch is one of the better magazines that I receive, and I receive uh, numerous publications. This is at the top of the list. It's an okay outfit. Uh, Glenn Benjamin from Simla, Colorado, BG Creek Livestock, and uh, I think it's a fantastic magazine. It's well written articles, great photography, and it pertains to what we do on our operation every day. And uh, there's good inform informative uh, articles, and it's practical, and it, it really fits into the, uh, the ranching lifestyle. My name's Doyle Kane, and I'm in Southwest Kansas. And the magazine is awesome, and just doesn't come often enough. Mike Stokely from Winchester, Kentucky, and I like the magazine. It's very informative, and I get a lot of information from it. Hi, I'm Ann Brunts from Friend, Nebraska, and I read Working Ranch the other night from cover to cover. Enjoy the magazine. You're doing a great job. Oh man, everything I like about the magazine, I like it. The page, uh, whether what's 12, uh, 12 days or whatever. Oh yeah, the yeah, Rancher's like Journal. That. But just everything. I, I just, it just. It's just a good magazine. I don't know what to really to say. That's good. Wayne Thomas from Tennessee. Hi, my name is Jane Lee, and I'm from Goldendale, Washington, southeast part of the state. Uh, yeah, we've been getting your magazine for a couple years now, and we just love it. My husband just loves the articles. Okay, we're in Lander, Wyoming, and uh, I like your the parts of the magazine that are about the real the ranches and speaking to the people on their own places, and interviewing them, and the pictures are wonderful. I'm Jacob McGee from Macon, Mississippi, which is in East Central Mississippi. The main thing I like about the magazine, it covers from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. Even though they talk about buckaroos, they also talk about just stockmen. It's a good magazine. My name is uh, Bob Skinner, and my wife Karen over here. That uh, What I like about the magazine most is that, it, that uh, for, first of all, it stories about all over the country, real working ranches, uh, real life people, and the, the uh, photography and everything is just perfect. Real quality magazine. It's the first magazine we all uh, we all read. When we do. Todd Mortensen from Hayes, South Dakota. Uh, it's one of those magazines that when you get in the mail, it's the first thing that you grab and take over and sit down and read right away. You just throw everything else away and read that one. My name is Guy Picard. Uh, I'm from uh, Prairie Village, Kansas, a suburb of Kansas City, but I ranch in the Flint Hills. The magazine has been exceedingly well received. I've heard from people in Florida, Louisiana, Texas, uh, Oklahoma. Um, everybody loves the magazine phenomenally. Keep up the good work. <laughs> My name is Joy Rezincheck uh, with Cow Creek Ranch in Alice, Alabama. We've been getting the Working Ranch magazine for a couple of years now. It's phenomenal in terms of its photography. The content is well uh, presented to the readers, and it's just uh, great to sit down and read in the evening. Great way to end the day. I'm Lisa Ogden. I'm from Loving, New Mexico, and it's the best magazine about ranching I've ever seen. Laurie Munns from Snowville, Utah, Hansel Valley's home. But um, the magazine, it, it, it's real cowboys. It's what we do for a living. It's good to know there's other people out there that that make their living doing the same thing we do, and their mistakes helps us, you know, through our tough times, and and their, you know, their joys and happinesses are ours at share. But it's just good to see that. Hi, I'm Frank Resnick from Wallace, Texas. And I'm manager of Cakeley Ranch. Uh, my uh, wife owns the ranch, and it's been in her family since 1899. And uh, I just really love the. Uh, the, the Working Ranch magazine. I look forward to getting it every time. I can't wait to get it. And I look through it three or four times and read every story and keep up the good work.